When you were a child, you probably crossed a few bridges and imagined, I hope the troll doesn't get me today. Bridges can be mysterious structures, and as kids, we were capable of believing that strange things might exist below them. Usually, we can see what's on top of them as we cross, but not what lies underneath. Do you want to find out? Prepare for the unexpected. 15 Strangest Discoveries People Found Under Bridges Ukraine Bridge Mystery On the pedestrian bridge in Ukraine's capital, someone nearby captured something very unnerving beneath the bridge. From further away, it looks like someone is casually just crossing it, but on the wrong side. Shouldn't this person just cross the bridge normally above it like everyone else? But when you get a closer look, it's difficult to imagine a human could move so swiftly on the underbelly of a bridge without a harness or straps, the proper gear. This creature is climbing more like a non-human primate, an animal used to climbing anywhere. And since the video went live, it's been confusing people around the world. Maybe an ape escaped from the local zoo. Maybe this is something supernatural captured on film. In Slavic mythology, Rusalka is a water nymph, a spirit who lives in rivers. In most versions, it's an unquiet being who's no longer alive and considered dangerous. If this is true, it would make sense that this nymph might haunt a bridge over a river. Rusalka is believed to be the embodiment of punishment. They must live out their designated time on Earth as a spirit. Could this mystery be ripped from Ukrainian mythology? Car hangs from a bridge This car hanging from the bridge, a suspended by a cargo strap, is baffling cops. Is this an accident or some elaborate art project? While officials can't fathom this being an accident, how it got up there without anyone noticing is just as big a question. The car, which appears to be burnt out and missing all of its windows, appeared overnight, with law enforcement initially thinking it was part of some film shoot. However, after a little digging, they found no permits requesting such, and now believed to be some a prank of sorts. The car was dangling above one of the busiest roads in Toronto. As a result, officials were forced to close an entire lane until it had been safely lowered. Before cops arrived on scene, however, a few hundred people had already driven underneath it with a few of them reporting the scary sight to police officers. The closure of an entire lane for hours while it was deemed safe and not booby-trapped was a huge undertaking and caused massive delays across the city. The bizarre prank isn't the only time something like this has happened. In 2008, in Vancouver, a Volkswagen Beetle was discovered hanging from the Lionsgate Bridge in a similar fashion. Is there a Canadian car hanger prankster on the loose? Mysterious Crawling Creature There are many questions about this video you might find strange, like why the videographer started off filming the busy part of the highway and not this crazy creature right away. Perhaps they saw it after the fact and panned over. Everything is timed so perfect that it rings with a sense of falseness. However, when you see whatever that thing is in motion, you can't deny its authenticity. This contradiction of emotions of what makes for a good old internet mystery. The beast is supposedly climbing beneath the pedestrian bridge in Kiev, making it all the more horrifying. It's so close to so many humans, it might be a human performing some stunt, but it appears to use its hind legs more like a primate would. Perhaps it's an escaped monkey from the zoo. It's oddly reminiscent of a gorilla type of creature. Whatever it is, human or not, it knows how to climb and has practiced many hours of doing so. <laughs> Demonic Face Google Earth, Street View in particular, turns up some interesting finds around the world. Some are even nightmarish. From aliens to legendary creatures, keen eyes on Google Earth surveyors have discovered numerous oddities in the world that leave the human brain wondering just what the heck is going on. Maybe even question your reality a little bit. A recent one reveals a troubling, exorcist-like terror under a bridge. Thanks to 360-degree cameras, Google Street View cars capture the world around them. Since humans can't even do that, these image collectors are bound to miss many things that are captured. For instance, they're scrubbed for things like violence and other mature subjects of this nature, but they can't find everything. It's for this reason there are so many Google Earth independent surveyors to date, some of them with highly popular YouTube channels. One of those revealed a demonic face worthy of your worst nightmares. Can you handle the truth that Google Earth might reveal next? 
Ai Wei Rave One person who attended this super secret rave beneath a motorway bridge who refused to be named said it was a secret party with a sound system under a motorway bridge. You had to walk along a muddy path for 10 minutes to get there and it wasn't the kind of place where other parties had been easily broken up by the police. With that being said, authorities used thermal imaging drones to find the massive gathering of about 800 ravers. To say the least, it was a massive and wide police investigation. As the party raged below, the traffic rumbled above. It was an awesome place with a huge sound system. Unfortunately, all the equipment was seized by police and over 22 fines have been issued to the organizers. <laughs> Secret Art Studio The places and things that inspire artists can be anything. When their surrounding really inspires their work, they often want to be around those things a lot. For instance, this artist created his office in the alcove under a bridge. Cars can travel both above and beneath him without them ever knowing. The structure takes advantage of a pair of concrete beams that act as supports for the bridge deck. Better yet, the studio is equipped with rollers that run along the length of the bridge, meaning he can move back and forth across it as he sees fit and whatever location he feels inspired by that day. Connected to a hand crank, the whole thing is movable by turning it. The metal and wood office can be rolled along the beams, which is fitted with wooden shelves and the tools he needs to conduct his work. In addition, there's a table, a plastic chair, and pillow and blanket in case he needs to take a nap or has to sleep in the studio for a long day of work. <coughs> Emily's Bridge there are many bridges in New England known for their picturesque traits, but Emily's Bridge in Stowe, Vermont is one that they'd rather pretend not exists. It's become quite famous. Constructed in 1844 to carry Emily's Bridge in a single lane, 50-foot-long bridge, how can such a small bridge have made such an infamous impact? Its wooden frame is dark and weathered, something you'd expect to find out of a horror film. It was here, if the legends are to be believed, that a broken-hearted girl took her own life. The legend says that she was supposed to meet her love at what was then called Goldbrook Bridge to elope away from the eyes of judgment or society. It's got Shakespeare tragedy written all over it. When the love of her life never showed, Emily jumped from the bridge. Now an angry ghost spirit forever haunts the site, reports of huge claw-like scratches down the sides of cars, strange voices, and people behaving strangely. Those that have heard the voices before they even knew of the stories said to hear a young girl crying. <laughs> Alien Bridge A recent video hit the internet that's been creating a buzz. Is it an alien or troll that's made its home beneath a bridge? Those old fantasies couldn't be true, could they? It dropped with the description of being an alien, but it's really hard to determine. <laughs> Fremont Troll There's an 18-foot tall troll made of cement that's clutching a VW beneath the George Washington Memorial Bridge in Seattle, Washington. The car was constructed by actually encasing a beetle in concrete. The troll had a rough start to its attempt at brightening the area and it was constantly vandalized. Each time it's painted, it's covered again with a thin layer of concrete. Some of the finer details have been erased entirely by extra concrete. Still, it stands in an attempt to live up to the area. You really have to look for this troll to find it, so make sure you keep your eyes peeled. Since its construction, and despite the reclusive nature of trolls, the now legendary Fremont Troll has made its way into the world of pop culture. From the rock band Majunga song The Fremont Troll to its very own Chia Pet edition, this guy is popping up everywhere. <laughs> Bridge Cemetery at the foot of the Montmartre in Paris is a secluded cemetery that will astound you. It isn't the most sought-after type of cemetery when compared to the more familiar variant. However, it's long been a tranquil final resting place for many artists who lived in the famous neighborhood nearby. Built below street level, a good portion of the cemetery rests beneath the busy Rue Calancourt. The air quality is a bit of a concern on this lower portion. Incredible mausoleums lie below the Blue Iron Bridge. It's named the Montmartre Cemetery, and it first opened for business in 1825 on the site of an abandoned quarry that was used for a makeshift mass grave during the revolution. And for many of the renowned artists who worked and lived there at the time, it became their final resting place. No one knows exactly where they came from, but dozens and dozens of cats have created their own colony of sorts. Have they made friends with many spirits that could still reside there? <laughs> Vietnam's Golden Bridge In Vietnam stands an amazing bridge. Just outside Da Nang, that's been dazzling tourists with its stunning views and elegant design since it was first constructed. The bridge is designed to look as though it's held upright by two giant stone hands. Many consider it more art than bridge, but who says it can't be both? 
This impressive construction is called the Golden Bridge, and it's a marvel of art and engineering. It stands a whopping 5,000 feet above sea level, high above the Bana Hills. Walking across the bridge offers an incredible view at the surrounding landscape that can't be seen anywhere else on the planet. Better yet, it offers incredible panoramic views that are breathtaking. The walking path is lined with beautiful local flowers. It stretches almost 1,000 feet in length. However, it's undeniably the stone sculpted hands holding it afloat that really turns the heads and gets the imagination going. The giant hands appear to have been carved from stone, but it's all a part of the illusion. Only the skeleton is made of stone, the rest is of steel meshes and designed to look like natural rock. The Devil's Bridge Found in Germany, this is the Devil's Bridge, and it was constructed with the exact purpose of creating a circle in the reflection in the water below. The project was commissioned in 1860 by a knight that resided in a nearby town. The spindly arch is roughly built out of various stone. Like many discoveries across Europe, this bridge was held the Devil's Bridge, thanks to the colloquialism that such bridges were so dangerous and miraculous that they could only be constructed by Satan. While it appears it could have been constructed by divine hands, it was indeed humans that fashioned this amazing bridge. Either end of the bridge is adorned with thin rock spires created to appear as natural basalt columns, which occur naturally in many places around Germany. The mathematics involved in the bridge had to be perfect, and the curvature of the bridge was designed to be one half of a perfect circle. Even the light and angle is just right. It forms the illusion of a complete stone circle in the water's reflection. It makes for an amazing display of human engineering and art. Insane Half Pipe The Ponte Governador Orestes Garcia Bridge, which stretches over a whopping 2,000 feet, was not designed to have a literal half pipe constructed into it but professional skateboarders just couldn't help themselves. Thanks to the help of Red Bull and some extreme sports personnel, Sanjo Diaz pulled off the sketchiest half-pipe stunt in recent history. You don't see him jumping and doing all sorts of tricks on this half-pipe, perhaps because he's hundreds of feet above the ground and one mistake could send him plummeting to the ground. He skates back and forth along the smooth bridge, half-pipe with a camera attached to his helmet so the audience really gets a sense of how crazy it is. He's already known as one of the greatest skaters to ever live as he's one of a handful of skateboarders to even land an upright 900. To continue his unprecedented climb into the history books of extreme skating, he took to the half-pipe between two towers to demonstrate his bravery and willingness to go above and beyond to create something new. Overton Bridge Dog lovers beware, since the 60s, this notorious bridge, named the Overton Bridge in Scotland, has been a mysterious hotbed for what locals have called doggy suicides. According to an investigation by the New York Times, over 300 dogs have jumped from its deadly heights, with local papers saying far more, unreported cases would see the number up to around 600. At the start, the property of Overton was known as the Overton Farm where a farmhouse stood on what's now the formal garden. In 1859, the land was reacquired by a man who had retired his legal practice to join his family venture in the chemical manufacturing industry. Three years after having purchased the property, he constructed the modern Overton house you find on the property. When Senior passed in 1884, the son hired a landscape designer, Henry Milner, to design a bridge that would join Overton with Garshake. The Overton Bridge, as it stands today, is now an extension of the driveway that adjoins the house. The design is said to play on the perception of humans and animals alike. While it isn't exactly known why dogs find this spot acceptable to jump from, many say the illusion is it's lower to the ground than it actually stands as the most evident reason. Floating Bridge There are 20 such modern bridges that utilize floating technology. One of the most prominent can be found in Seattle. These types of bridges, also called pontoon bridges, are typically temporary constructions fashioned from wood during times of emergency or war. These bridges would aid in massive transportation efforts where it was required and hasten the whole process along. Floats and sometimes boats are moored together, and flat planks are laid over the top creating a roadway allowing personnel and resources to cross the water without issue. These types of pop-up bridges have been used throughout history in many battles, including World War II and the Iran-Iraq War. However, the one in Seattle is permanent and was constructed with this early pontoon bridge in mind. The longest of said bridges is the SR-520 bridge, otherwise known as Evergreen Point, 
that stretches across Lake Washington in Seattle. Why would someone choose a floating bridge over a traditional constructed one? The answer lies in the region's particular environmental challenges. The one in Seattle, for instance, was created thanks to tricky geographical limitations of the area. The lake bed was deemed too soft to construct standard bridge pylons. The other option, a suspension bridge, would have required two towers as huge as the famous Space Needle, and that would have cost billions. The conception of a floating bridge across Lake Washington was first proposed by famed engineer Homer Hadley in the 30s. Through his experience working for a firm that designed concrete barges during World War I, he formed the idea of connecting hollow concrete barges. The state's then director of highways thought the idea was genius. The floating bridge implementation was such a success that Washington State adopted the concept for many future bridges from that point forward. The second bridge constructed in this manner, Evergreen Point, was opened in 1963. In honor of the engineer who first dreamed up the idea, the third bridge was named after him. Today, the famous Lake Washington is home to three of the iconic bridges and all rake among the five longest in the world. Bridges are a vital part of human society and operation, and that rings true for both the literal and metaphorical use for the term. Whether we're bridging gaps of the mind or the literal geographical gaps, bridges are an idea of humans connecting to the previously unconnected. With the bridge in place, there's always a major benefit, whether that be a newfound sense of understanding or the physical transportation of goods. While they often gap the previously inaccessible, they provide a place of support beneath. Whether it's a human trying to get out of a storm or a creature escaping the prying eyes of predators, there are all manner of bridges and their uses in the modern world. Next time you look at a bridge, take the time to really appreciate how long they've come and the vital access they provide for nearby residents and society as a whole. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.